What's up, guys? It is time for Who News? It's time. Just the good news. Doctors record the first case of triphalia. That means three penises. Oh, boy. Trailblazing transgendered MMA fighter Fallon Fox sets a biopic with Mark Gordon pictures. A cat is caught trying to smuggle drugs into a Panama prison. And robots serve customers in a Florida restaurant. Who knows? Let's go. Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? Thanks for watching. I am Vaughn Joseph. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. So does doctors have discovered that a baby who was born in Duhok, Iraq has three penises. Initially, the child registered no signs of extra penises. Three months later, uh, the boy's parents observed that there were additional bits of skin beside his scrotum. His guardians also noticed that his penis area was swelling. Upon thorough examination, medical professionals confirmed that he had extra layers of skin and they were in fact two penises, one centimeter and two centimeters. In the report, two additional penises were removed and the baby recovered well after about a year. Uh, the condition is very alien to humans until this incident, diphalia or double penis registers, uh, have been registered in very rare cases since the 1600s. A study shows that diphalia happens in one in five to six million births. So the report claimed that every baby boy having more than one penis is a unique case and would require a specific treatment approach with this developing a standard way of treating such conditions because it's so elusive. The life of Fallon Fox, <laughs> the first openly transgender fighter in mixed martial arts is subject to a new film in development at Mark Gordon Pictures. Fox's story will be scripted by a wedded white writing team. T. Cooper and Allison Glock Cooper, whose credits include NBC's Blacklist, um, BBC's uh, America's Cooper, and Netflix The Get Down. Originally hiding her transgender identity when she began competing in MMA, Fox feared transphobia would bring rejection from the widely popular league. After nearing the upper echelons in the ring, a journalist threatened to out Fox, who then boldly told her truth in interviews with OutSports and Sports Illustrated. Boldly? Anyway, the stories both inspired and caused backlash as well as further transphobic rhetoric in a debate over whether a woman who was assigned male at birth should be able to fight in a woman's division uh, in MMA. Fox will serve as a consultant on the project. Mark Gordon and Bonnie Chance Roberts will produce for the company. The subject matter is especially timely as 34 states are currently considering legislation that would ban transgender girls from playing on girls interscholastic sports teams. Arkansas, South Dakota, Tennessee, and Mississippi have already made those bans law, joining Idaho, which became the first state to do so in 2020. Uh, God dang it. Go! A woman accidentally seals her eyelids shut after mistaking nail glue for eye drops. You're an idiot. Um, Panama officials apprehend a feline drug smuggler on its way to Nueva Esperanza jail on Friday. The jail located in the Caribbean province of Colón, north of the capital Panama City, houses more than 1,700 prisoners. The fluffy white cat was intercepted by officials who noticed a strange pouch tied to its body. It turns out that the pouch contained an assortment of drugs and that the cat was being used to smuggle them into the prison. Andres Gutierrez, head of the Panama Penitentiary System, said the animal had a cloth tied around its neck. A great quote. <laughs> Upon inspection, the pouch held several wrapped packages that contained white powder, leaves, and vegetable matter. <laughs> Another official said that the package likely contained crack, cocaine, and marijuana. Prisoners have previously used animals as drug smugglers. They lure the animals with food, and once a connection has been made, people from outside load them with drugs to be smuggled into the prison. How do you get the cat to go into the prison? Anyway, an investigation has been launched by the Office of Drugs, Prosecutor of Kalan, to look into the use of animals and smuggling illegal substances into the prison. 
The office shared the news on Twitter along with photographs of the feline smuggler. Have you seen this cat? <laughs> with drugs carrying, drugs that it was carrying around. Prosecutor Eduardo Rodriguez said that the narco cat is to be taken to a pet adoption center. Panama's 23 prisons, most of which are overcrowded, have housed about 18,000 inmates. Prison authorities have previously foiled drug deliveries with other animals, and on some occasions, they've even intercepted drone deliveries. Oh, boy. What is this world coming to? Robots are greeting customers, showing them to their tables, and serving them their food at a Florida seafood restaurant. There's, here comes your uh, living wage, right? Mr. Q Crab House in Hollywood, Florida, first of all, Hollywood, rename your city, has employed the help of three robots to fill the employment gap caused by the ongoing COVID pandemic, according to a report by the Florida Sun Sentinel. Uh, the automated service cost $10,000 a piece and were brought on board the restaurant to help serve the horde of customers that came on the weekends, most of which are guests from the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino located across the street from the restaurant. Peanut is the automated employee that greets entering guests and shows them to their table where a human server takes their order. The customer's food is served by another robot. Oh boy, pretty soon you're not going to need that customer to take their order. Besides doing their regular greeting and serving jobs, the robots can also entertain, sing Merry Christmas and Happy Birthday in four languages. How many restaurant employees can do that? The robots have been working at Mr. Q Crab House for roughly two weeks and the restaurant's general manager says... Sometimes they get annoyed with the automated servers. According to him, police, po, Peanut, not police, Peanut once freaked out when his battery was low. It was saying to us, I have to go back. I have to return myself. And we couldn't find the volume button. Teething, teething process. Come on. He also said having the robots at the restaurant has its perks and the customers love them. How many times do you hear that about your wait staff? For the bigger tables, they're perfect because one robot can carry an entire table's worth of food from the kitchen, but humans would have to go back three or four times. You're out of here. Your job is gone. I can tell you almost there. Keep begging for that $15 an hour and see what happens. You can't hire somebody for 10,000 a year and he's always gonna be there on time. He's never calling in sick. That's it for today. Follow us if you dare on the new Instagram page, V3TV UK. If you care to help us support the show, cash app us at pound sign V3TV UK. As always, follow us online, V3TV.UK. And if you're just listening, you can hit us up wherever you listen to your podcast, Spotify, Amazon, Apple Podcasts, iHeart. You got it. Thanks for your support. And we'll catch you on hopefully Wednesday on Who News.